IVF can be divided into five phases. In phase one of IVF, patients take FSH, follicle-stimulating hormone injections, which increase the amount of follicles, and therefore eggs, produced by a woman in a given month. I enjoyed I the like experience. I mean, it stuff. was something mm -hmm. I could do. I could physically get my, mm -hmm. you know, my head wrapped around it. It was, it was tactile. It was real. It wasn't imaginary or theoretical. It was something I could actually do to help the process. The shot part, that, that stuff didn't bother me. It was just, you were just very swollen, very sore. Um, you'd be in the car driving and you'd say, don't drive over the bumps too hard because it just hurts so bad. Each follicle will have an egg in it, so we're trying to retrieve many follicles to get many eggs. Phase two is the retrieval of the eggs from the patient. Now, when the egg retrieval is done and the eggs are removed, there's a whole other side of the experience, which is the lab side. And here we have the embryology team. And through the embryologists, they work both with eggs, sperm, and then the embryo together. And they're the experts that help make the magic. Phase three is fertilization. The fertilization technique used in IVF is called ICSI, intracytoplasmic sperm injection. What is now commonplace is in reality an intricate procedure which took nearly two decades to develop. Under a powerful inverted microscope and using a micropipette, skilled embryologists collect an individual sperm. Then, with the help of micromanipulators, the egg is gently held in place as the sperm is injected directly into the egg's cytoplasm. As ICSI has evolved, it essentially has cured male infertility. Arguably, it's probably one of the biggest advances that we've seen in our field. Once the egg is fertilized for a period of up to five days, the resultant embryo grows and develops in the laboratory. Phase four is where the ball is back in our court. We actually take the embryo, place it back inside the uterus, and then phase five is hopefully a positive pregnancy test two weeks later.